Hello everyone, my name is Teresa of Chapstick and Succulents and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sympathy succulent arrangement like this from start to finish. From buying the plants and deciding what plant species to use to choosing the planter and its finishing touches. I often create colorful succulent arrangements using vibrantly colored cuttings. But because this time, I want to give this arrangement to express my sympathy to a friend who lost her husband to cancer, I'm going to use succulent plants with purplish pink shades rather than the vibrantly colored ones I often use. To express our sympathy, we often give flowers. But instead of flowers, I decided to give a basket of succulents because unlike the fresh flowers that will wilt and die after a few days, these plants can grow and multiply if given the right care. So I am going to show you step by step how I put together this arrangement to honor the life of Peter Fernando, the husband of my friend Lilia. First, let me bring you to a nursery where I got all these plants. When I look for plants, I visit local outdoor nurseries rather than the huge indoor garden centers because first, they are way cheaper. And second, their succulents are more colorful compared to those grown indoors which are often overwatered. As you can see, because it's springtime, they have a lot of flowers in bloom. But I am here for the succulents, so let's check what they have here. In the nursery, there's so many succulent plants to choose from. And sometimes, when there's so many choices in front of us, it can feel overwhelming, making it difficult to make decisions. If I do not have a theme in mind, I am sure I would be grabbing more than what I need here because all these are so beautiful. But because I already have a plan on what I want it for, I can narrow down my options and focus only on the colors and species I want to use. I have chosen these three large rosette-shaped succulents here. I like them because they all look like purple flowers. Now, I need another one in the middle, something that is taller than those three. This aloe here is what I'm looking for. Now that I have these, I need smaller rosettes to put in between these bigger ones. And because I already have a lot of purples, I will try to avoid using the same shade and would go with the green tones to add some contrast. I added these smaller plants to fill some gaps and also to plant on the sides. By the way, if you want to know which nursery this one is, I will leave a link in the description below as well as other local nurseries I go to. So if you live in Orange County, California or happen to visit here, you know where to go. And if you live in the US and you want to order some colorful succulent cuttings online, visit our website. The link is in the description below. Looks like we have all the plants we need. So it's time to look for the planter. I want it to look like a basket of flowers. Between all these baskets, I will choose this one in dark color. With this size, all the plants will fit here. For the finishing touches, I will use this moss instead of the pebbles because I am using a basket. Now, this basket has holes. If you're going to add the soil directly without adding any layer in between, the basket will rot faster. Also, over time, the soil will pass through the holes and your arrangement will no longer look nice. To fix that problem, you need to add a barrier in between the basket and the soil. You can add a layer of moss or plastic wrap.
Drainage holes are important to avoid overwatering and root rot. Simply cut some holes to facilitate drainage. Now let's have some fun and put all these plants together. Here are the plants we've chosen and we will put this aloe in the middle. But first, we need the soil. I'm going to use the soil that comes with the plants. To remove the plant, loosen it up by pressing on the sides and gently pull the plant from the container. Slowly separate the soil from the roots but try to be gentle with the plant's leaves because some of them are delicate and the leaves can easily fall off. Now we have the basket with the soil. Let's arrange the plants. We will start from the center using this aloe. Then surround it with three large rosette shaped succulents. We have two Echeverias and one Sempervivum. Then let's add these smaller green rosette shaped succulents in between the bigger ones. This basket is almost full. To make it look even nicer, let's fill the gaps with smaller plants like this crassula here. This is the perfect time to use the tweezers for succulents because it will make your work so much easier. By the way, if you are new to succulents and you want to know more about their uniqueness and how to care for them, check out my free 45 minutes online course. The link is in the description below. And for our finishing touches, we will add the moss. What we want to do is cover the areas where the soil is visible. The arrangement would look more finished and at the same time, it will keep the soil in place and prevent it from getting the leaves dirty, especially when you are transporting this or during watering. And this is our finished project, a basket full of succulents for sympathy. Now, I'm going to bring this personally to Lilia. This is Peter and Lilia's residence here in Long Beach. Look at what they have here. A beautiful succulent arrangement to welcome visitors. They have a lot of succulents in their garden and most of them were given as gifts. When Peter was still alive, he was the one doing all the gardening. Lilia also loved plants, but it was Peter who really takes care of them. He enjoyed sitting on the bench, watch these plants, and listen to the birds chirping. He was new to succulents too, and would often ask for advice from their family friend Brenda, who is a succulent hobbyist. 
and at some point he asked her to teach his wife how to take care of these plants. Maybe he already knows that someday Lilia needs to take over. Now, these plants will always remind her of Peter and would make her feel that he is always with her. And because these plants are low maintenance, taking care of them would not require much of her time. I hope you learned something new from our video today. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Take care everyone!